By the end of this video, you'll be a lot better product manager since when you started. In this video, we're going to be speaking about top five tools that every product manager should absolutely know. Even the basic knowledge of these tools can give you a huge edge versus other product managers. So let's get started. There is a bonus tool in this video that, that not a lot of other product managers know about. And I'm going to tell you that too. So stay tuned for the entire video. The first tool is around documentation and notes. And this is probably one of the most important jobs of a product manager, documenting things correctly. So for documentation, I personally use Confluence and, and it's widely accepted across product and tech teams. You can use Confluence to write product requirement documents or PRDs, build roadmap and business strategies. And this is where all the teams will come to read your product documentation. If you want to learn everything about Confluence, just refer to the link in the description. For notes, I personally use Notion. Sure, you can use Notion for PRDs as well, but because Confluence connects really well with Jira, is why I use Confluence for product documentation. Now, why would I mention notes separately? As a product manager, you'll be a part of a lot of meetings and you must ensure that everything in that meeting is documented somewhere, which is where Notion comes in. It's an easy tool that you can just run in the background, document notes for yourself and maybe use those notes in the future to refer what was discussed in the meeting. There are other tools like Microsoft OneNote, Coda, but I prefer using Notion. Personal advice, take notes of every call. Life of a product manager is a chaos and you do not want to be in a position where you've made a critical decision, but it's not documented. So ensure you use something to document, if not Notion. Let's move on to the second one. The second tool is Jira. When you're building a product, you'll never really build an entire product. Network. We'll break that product down in different features and then there will be sub features of those features. Your job, once you break all of these down, is to prioritize which one to build first and which one to build next. You'll also work with a lot of teams and these teams will also have a lot of stakeholders. When the amount of stakeholders and complexity involved, you absolutely need to track all of this somewhere. And this is where Jira comes. Jira enables you to individually track each of the features and sub features on a very convenient board. The benefits are obvious. You don't have to go to people and ask what they're doing. You can track feature to its documentation because you've documented it on Confluence. And there is visibility for every team, including product, tech, sales, marketing, etc. That's how a typical Jira board looks like. Well, I know it's project management to a certain extent, but you absolutely have to do some of this in your early days. There are alternative tools to Jira like Airtable, Utrack, etc. And I've added a link to Airtable if you want to learn how Airtable works in the description. Now let's look at number three, and then I'll give you a bonus tool that not every product manager knows about. The third tool that I'm going to be talking about is Postman for API testing. Now APIs may sound technical they're not really technical think of apis as a waiter in a hotel that's communicating food between you and the kitchen similarly apis communicate communication between your system and a third party system now postman enables you to test these apis remember as a pm you will at some point work with external vendors or external systems in order to get their data on your app or product this is where apis come in for example amazon allowing you to pay via google pay. if you are interested in knowing how postman works check out the link in the description it's absolutely important that you know how postman works because your tech team will love you for this you can test and validate integrations faster now let's move on to the bonus tool the next tool that i'm going to be talking about is retool and this is primarily to validate your ideas faster as a pm you'll always have a lot of ideas but the tech bandwidth that you have will always be limited. So how do you quickly validate if your ideas are going to? This is just what Retool enables you to do. It's a drag and drop platform where you can either connect APIs or just write basic scripts in order to kind of test your ideas. For example, you can create a front end for your APIs for your customers to use. And I've added a step-by-step -step guide in the description. Check out if you're interested. The fourth tool is Balsamic. This is primarily to do wireframes. As a PM, you'll realize that you spend a lot of time with your design guys and the UX teams. Often, you'll be required to give them wireframes. And this is where Balsamic comes in. Just another drag and drop platform where you can drag and drop elements that you'd want to see on a screen or an app. Now remember, you're not submitting a final design to the design team. That's design team's job. But your job is to build like a high level wireframe of sorts that design team can refer or tech team can refer to build an MVP of that product to start off with. Well, you can also draw this on a paper and give it to your tech team. But let's try to be nice to them and use a platform that enables you to do this a lot better. The alternative to this is draw.io and I absolutely love draw.io as well. You can integrate your draw.io diagrams directly into Confluence documentation and give it across to your tech team. So everything from ideation to delivery is in one place. Let's move on to the final tool of this video, which is probably the most important thing you should know. So once you've built out the product or a feature, how do you track the success of that product or a feature? This is where Metabase and Google Data Studio come in. Both of these platforms enable you to track metrics like ARPU, average revenue per user, DAO, which is daily active users, or MAU, which is monthly active users, or average time spent on the platform, etc. Et Primarily, these platforms enable you to track the success of the product or a feature that you've built. Where tech may sometimes take time to build dashboards, which is where you can use Metabase or Google Data Studio without actually writing SQL queries. Here's a personal suggestion. Knowing how to build a dashboard is great, 
but knowing which metrics to track is a lot more important. If you want to understand which metrics are important for your product and how to find out the right metrics to track for your product, check out the link in the description. And that's probably going to be it. Awesome that you know of five tools to use as a product manager. Now ensure that you at least achieve the basic mastery of these tools by referring the videos in the description. And I'm sure you'll have a huge edge against other product managers. And I'll see you in the next one.